Hello, I'm Sophie D'Souza and welcome to my channel, Sophie Stained Glass. This morning I'm going to show you how to remove a stained glass window without damaging it. Somebody tried to push this window in um, to break in. So they've pushed it back out again, so now the bow is in this direction. But it's in a very poor state. The first thing I'm going to do is use my all-weather tape to tape it up so that I can take it out and not worry about the pieces dropping. So let's talk about what tools you're going to need when you're gonna take out a stained glass window. Hammer. Hacking out knife. I like to have different weights of hammer. Sometimes my hand gets tired with a bigger hammer. A chisel can be useful. This is all for hacking out the potty. A lead knife can be really useful for um, easing between the putty and the door. There will be pins holding your stained glass window in place. These are nail pulls. You can use pliers to pull the nails out. And this is another kind of nail pull. You'll need to board up the window space afterwards. So these are pins, 20 mil, 30 mil. Um, jigsaw, because you'll need to uh, cut a panel of wood to fit into your open hole while you rebuild your panel or somebody else rebuilds your panel. And tape can be very useful. If your window is damaged, um, tape it up before you take it out to stop pieces falling out. And I think that's it. It's worth mentioning that the, the bar that should be strengthening this window is missing. And I can see where the ties used to be. Um, and that's really no good in the door, especially um, in the panel furthest away from the hinge because that's under the most pressure. Um, from you know opening and closing. So when I put this back in, I will put a, a bar across here, although it's a very shallow rebate and um, there's not going to be a lot of room to put the bar in and I yeah well we'll we'll deal with that when we come to it. I'm just going to test the putty and see how hard it is. I'm just going to slip my lead knife between the door rebate and see if I can flick it out. And actually it's coming out quite nicely. I'll show you a few ways to take out this putty. So you can see this is working. I'll show you another way. This is a hacking out knife and I'll show you how to use it. Let's see where can you see? Can you see here? Yes. Um, there is no light in this hall. <laughs> so um, I really hope you can see. So you, you line it up Fine here. So that's that's a, a, another method you can use. Um, it's is different. Some of it is um, totally brittle and pops out really easily. Others is like cement. <laughs> it's really hard. This is somewhere in between. It's still got some give left in it so I can, I can, it's, putty is never supposed to go completely hard because it's supposed to give with the expansion 
and contraction of the wood and the glass. Um, and this is, it's still soft, basically. The easiest to get out is always the very, very brittle old stuff because it goes pop, pop, pop and just falls out. This isn't too bad though. I've hit a nail here because the first thing you do when you put it in a window is just literally hold it in place with little pins. So that I will pull out later. It's quite good to keep them in because you don't want the window popping out, although this one probably won't. Once you've got the majority of the putty out, you then want to use a chisel or a hacking out knife is perfect to just hammer down through the middle here between the lead and the door because between the lead and the door is another little uh, channel of putty. So we've just taken off the, the surface um, so we have to go in here. So I'm gonna hammer all the way around the door now. I don't know if you can see, maybe you can't, but now that I've gone between the lead and the door, actually a bit of leverage and I can feel the window moving. So um, you just have to keep an eye on what you're doing and make sure that uh, it's doing the job you want it to do. Now that I've chased all the way around between the lead and the door, I'm going to start removing the pins. And there's various ways you can do it. Uh, various long nose pliers, nail pulls. I'm just using little snips at the moment. Give it a wiggle to pull it away from the lead. Actually, this doesn't want to come out with these, so. This is a nail pull. I don't think this is going to work. Which one am I on? Um, but it's quite good for working the nail away from the lead, like that. So I can't get the angle in there. So I'm going to use these. And these use a rocking motion, which means you don't end up leaving a dent where you've leave it on the wood. So actually I might just go over to using my nail pulls. So now you've done the inside of the door. You take your lead knife and you start to slip it in. You see there it's, oh, you can't see. So it goes in quite nicely. I've got my hand behind it. Um, The safest place to push your lead knife in is where there is a solder joint. If you push it in the middle of a long piece, the danger is you're going to snap that long piece. Because you need a little bit of wiggle. So 
So it's you you get the idea of whether it's loose or not because you see the paint seal begin to crack. And if it doesn't crack, you know that there's something stopping it. And you have to go back to the inside of the door and see if you can see where it's still stuck. Like the top here, it doesn't feel like it wants to come. You often find it's hard at the bottom as well because, let me just refocus so you can see what I'm doing. Um, quite often, especially with an old window, the bottom joint is the most difficult because the weight of the window has compressed down over the years. But you don't know until you try, basically. So something is sticking on the other side, so I'm just going to have a look. So I dug out a bit more putty with my lead knife. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's coming away. Now we'll see this end again. I think it's basically the places where it's sticking is where they have um, put some packing underneath when they fitted the window to lift the window up. So the window is sitting on that packing and it's compressed quite tightly. So I think that will go, but I'm going to check at the top before I finally push it through because I don't want it to suddenly fall out at the bottom but still be stuck at the top. So again, I'm going to just loosen, loosen it with the point of my lead knife. I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the inside. So, can you see? Yeah. So I'm scraping with my knife and I'm also doing a little bit of levering. Right. You can see it's beginning to come now. There we go. It's got it. So I hope this video has shown you how to remove a stained glass window uh, intact, apart from the enormous areas of damage, of course. Now the window's out, 
I'm going to just tidy up this rebate which is full of nasty old putty. So boring job but um, I, I much prefer to do all the mucky stuff in one go then I can sweep up and when I come to refit the window other than just wiping it white spirit um, it won't really make any dust. I just thought I'd show you what's happening. Um, so, because this is not very old putty and it's still very sticky, I, I'm ju it's just removing some of the wood with it as I go. And uh, it's not ideal, but there's nothing much I can do about that because um, I can't, I have to get rid of this putty and um, it's clearly a bit stronger than the old door. In addition to the hacking knife and the lead knife, sometimes a chisel and hammer is what's needed. So I hope you've seen now from this video how it is quite possible to remove a window intact. Um, I'll now take it away and rebuild it, um, which I might put on another video. But th there are lots of rebuilding window videos on my site anyway, so have a look at the other videos if that's something you're interested in. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not difficult when you know how. And please like, comment and subscribe.